Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile here for Ancient Beetlemon. Now, this deck, gotta admit, it is outdated, but it's still an incredibly fun deck. And that's mainly because it is focusing on using Tamers to actually uh, digivolve into something like this, which is something that is sort of almost not shown the right attention. Hybrid decks in general just don't have much of a spotlight here. Sure, you could consider the fact that Emperor Greymon or Magna Gururumon are actually decks out there, but that's two particular decks and fixated on two particular colours. Unfortunately, a green hybrid deck is just not something that's really common out there. And so I wanted to at least bring this back into the spotlight a bit. Sure, you can incorporate a few new cards from the newer sets into this deck, here, but given that this deck is from BT7, you can't help but think that, yeah, it is a little outdated and we could definitely be uh, using some more support for this particular deck. I will apologize slightly for the sleeves here. It does have uh, a bit of a weird glare. Of course, I'm trying out a new camera setup. So hopefully you guys do like this. I will be doing a few of these and seeing if it actually does work out and then we'll go from there. But uh, it's mainly these sleeves that sort of make it a little bit more on the blurry side of things. But maybe once I use different sleeves, you'll see a big improvement there. However, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, please drop a like, share, comment and subscribe. It really does matter. With that being said, let's begin. So starting off over here, we're going to be playing our four copies of Coromon. This is the Digi Eggs that we're going to be playing in this particular deck. I find that this one here is just so much suited to the actual deck itself because it kind of allows you to have a bit of control knowing that you might need certain cards specific to this. And I think when it comes to a hybrid deck, when you need the specific tamers, when you need the specific cards to be able to did you evolve over the tamers you will need to have a bit of ways to actually see or know what you're actually going to be getting next next up we're going to be playing four copies here of betamon betamon is just one of those really good generic green cards that really work for this deck but of course given that we're playing uh, tamers as well in this particular deck at least a higher amount than what a usual deck would have this particular card definitely does help out quite a bit. Next up, we're playing four copies here of Tentomon. Again, a similar case to the Betamon, it is one of your generic cards that make it really easy to search out stuff from your deck. And considering your whole deck is all green, it's very likely you'll be getting your target. All right, so for a bit of support, we're gonna be playing here Bokomon. This is definitely going to be quite surprising for you guys but it does actually synergize with a hybrid or 10 warriors deck which is what this deck actually is but i find this particular card interesting in the sense that obviously it's not something you can necessarily digivolve over but it acts as a really good supporter for this very kind of deck which uh, digivolves in a non-conventional way now on to level fours we're going to be playing here metal cover terrymon one of the uh, more crucial cards that allow you to digivolve for a much lower cost here. So definitely very nice, but of course it is still definitely a very relevant card, allowing you to slow down your opponent as well, and allowing you to sort of maximize any potential piercing that you're gonna inflict. Now onwards, I'm gonna be playing here four copies of Weedmon. Now this particular card isn't actually a card that I would normally play in this deck. In fact, I wouldn't play it at all. I am currently in the search for a substitute for this card and I am completely open to the feedback for how I can possibly improve this deck. So if you guys actually did have a better suggestion for a green level four that could actually be used in this deck, please let me know. I'm really interested in actually improving this. However, on to level 5s, we are going to be starting off here with the Rhino Carboterimon, a very good card that also works its way around with this particular deck, and I strongly believe that it is a card that we would still be playing even back from BT7 up until now. Following up with that, I did like this particular card here that sort of gave 
a bit of synergy with the green tamers in our deck but this here is the four copies of Rapid Mon. So when you're Digivolving, you can actually suspend one of your opponent's Digimon as long as you have a Green Tamer in play. The conditions are really easy and the rewards are definitely very fantastic. However, what I do like about this particular card is actually the Inherited Effects. The Inherited Effects essentially allows you to gain an additional security attack. This is what we sort of want for this particular deck, so it's definitely quite a suitable card. Now of course, for level 6s, it's not a surprise we're going to be playing 4 copies of Ancient Beetlemon. Now this card has definitely been power crept quite a bit, so there is definitely a lot to be improved with the overall deck, but it's all about having fun with the particular card that you like, right? So in this particular case, Ancient Beetlemon, it can do a lot better with the supporting stuff and we could definitely use another upgraded version of this particular card. However, this will have to do for the time being. I still think it's quite decent though, so if anything, you could definitely get away with playing four copies of this and hopefully we'll get another better version that uh, could play alongside this or better yet, uh, just synergize even if it's a level 7 that can digivolve and get you some effects there. But of course, its effect reads when one of your Digimon with 10 warriors or hybrid in its traits deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, trash the top card of your opponent's security. That's definitely very nice. Of course, there are other ways you could potentially get by. And here's the thing, this particular card doesn't necessarily have a defense. As a result, if your opponent has some sort of answer to this particular card, it will be quite unfortunate. It just makes that this particular Digimon can definitely deal with a lot of decks that utilize blockers. However, one thing I do like about this particular card, and it was sort of ahead of its time when it did come out, and that is it has an on deletion effect that's actually quite decent. Sure, it lacks protection, but at least it can do something after it's been deleted so that's definitely fantastic for this whole deck as a whole now its effect for the on deletion is you can actually play a green level 4 or lower card with hybrid in its trait from your hand without paying its memory cost this is definitely really nice to help you recover and rebuild as quickly as possible if anything it's allowing you to get more digimon onto the board and this will definitely allow you to sort of keep up with the current decks out there. Of course, it's not going to be an amazing job at that, but anything helps. To actually support the Ancient Beetlemon, I decided to also play here the Ancient Troymon. Troymon is a very fantastic support that uh, is surprisingly really good. So when an opponent's Digimon attacks, suspend up to two of their Digimon without blocker. Definitely a very powerful effect because this could really slow down your opponent from actually dealing with you. So here's the thing, our deck itself is quite slow. As a result, having this particular card to slow down the attacks definitely does a huge deal for our actual uh, potential to win this game. That being said, if someone realizes that Ancient Tromon is an issue and they decide to delete it, well good news, we actually do have an on deletion effect. You can actually play a green level 4 lower Digimon card with hybrid in its form from your hand without paying its memory cost. So again, giving you more recovery and in a way, even though it's from BT6, which is one set older than the Ancient Beetlemon, it does actually have sort of that uh, synergy with the Ancient Beetlemon, which is definitely something that is uh, quite rare to see. Although. Uh, not many other cards actually exist out there. Next up, we have here Ebon Wumon. This is a very nice card. It's not necessarily something that synergizes, but it is a great supporter, at least for the time being, before we get a more recent updated support of the Ancient Beetlemon. So, when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then gain one memory for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. This is definitely quite useful for this particular deck. We want to sort of speed up our deck and the best way to speed up our deck is to get more Digimon on the board 
or at least to digivolve our cards as high as possible without us uh, obviously giving memory away. And to be able to recoup that memory using Ebon Wumon is definitely a great addition for this deck. Now, during your opponent's turn, all of your opponent's Digimon gain your turn. You must trash one card in the hand to unsuspend this Digimon. So, again, as part of the synergy of this deck, we are trying to slow down the opponent in any way possible, even if it means getting rid of their resources. So, in this particular case, you are forcing your opponent to extinguish one card from their hand in order to even go for the attack. Have this card out alongside the Ancient Tromon and you got yourself a pretty solid board that uh, your opponent's definitely going to have to work really hard to get past. Now moving on with Tamers, I want to preface one thing, if I can play 4 copies of JP, I definitely would. The only issue is I only own 2 copies, I'm still trying to look for 2 more copies. Mind you, this is from BT7, it's a really old set, I can't find those cards. If I could find two more, 100% I'm swapping out the two copies of Izzy that I have for the two more copies of JP. But with that being said, Izzy is the substitute that I am actually using for the time being. Uh, of course, I do wish that uh, it would be four copies of JP because that's the only card that really allows you to digivolve into your level fours. But that being said, I will focus on JP. Uh, if it is uh, lifted up from security, then you could actually just play it for free. So definitely very nice. But when this Tamer Digivolves into a green Digimon, reduce the memory cost of its Digivolution by one. Again, mitigating the cost is very important because we want to get as far as we can in this deck given how uh, inherently slow it is compared to a lot of the newer decks out there. But I also like that it does have piercing as well, so definitely fantastic. It is uh, very nice if you actually combine it together with the Rapid Mon, because if your well, if either of your level sixes have as both uh, Rapid Mon and JP under its inherited effects, you're really gaining a huge bonus out of this. Because uh, so let's put it this way: we have Ancient Beetlemon as our level six. Underneath it, we have both JP and Rapid Mon. So with that, when you're actually attacking. If Ancient Beetlemon wins that battle, you're already going to deal or remove one card from your opponent's security stack. So that's one damage right there. JP is going to allow you to do piercing. So again, you're winning that battle, you're dealing one more damage. Next up, we also have here the plus security one attack from the Rapid Mon as well. So overall, you're dealing three damage all in one go. It's definitely very powerful. And if there was any other way that I could actually speed this up even further, I 100% would do that. But for the time being, this is definitely a very solid strategy that I have going on. To wrap up on the Tamers, I'm going to be playing two copies here of Tiger, and I'm also going to be two copies of Izzy and Mimi. Izzy and Mimi is mainly supposed to be uh, a bit of the memory setter in a sense, because most of the time your opponent will have suspended Digimon anyway, so to get that two bonus memory is definitely going to help out with this deck. But it also allows you to sort of speed up your plays as well by mitigating costs for memory by digivolving sooner. But that being said, Tiger is also fantastic, boosting up your attack, allowing you to win your battles, but also allowing you to, uh, well, reduce digivolution costs as well. Now onto option cards, I did want to talk about both these cards at the same time, just because hidden potential discovered is limited to one, and so you, although you want to play four copies of it, you can always uh, use Evolution Ancient instead. I'm trying out only one copy just because it is a little bit more specific than the Hidden Potential Discovered and we are still playing cards that are not hybrid in this deck so it's not always going to work, it's not always going to be synergetic but to have that additional one is definitely fantastic. This essentially just allows you to go up in Digivolutions for a lower cost, which is something that I will always welcome for this deck. So let's wrap things up with our final option cards. We have Digivolution, 
plugin S and we also have our green memory boost. Green memory boost is pretty self-explanatory, just searching up stuff and setting yourself up for future plays by having additional memory on board. But Digivolution cost is, uh, or Digivolution plugin S, kind of allows you to sort of, again, uh, just uh, mitigate costs. Now, of course, if it activates in the security, it's definitely very nice to allow you to add more cards to the hand. But uh, yeah, it is pretty much a f card that allows you to essentially draw more cards, which is uh, very nice. But it also just allows you to digivolve one of your Digimon cards into another from your hand that can digivolve for digivolution cost of three or less without paying the cost. So it's just really helpful for this deck. But like I said earlier, I'm definitely open to feedback for this particular deck. So if there is anything that you feel needs to be changed up, then definitely let me know. So there we have it. That was pretty much my Ancient Beetlemon deck. I hope you guys do enjoy this one. I am very open to taking in all your suggestions for what you would actually do to change up this deck. If you guys have your own decks as well or your own lists, definitely show them in the comments down below. It would really help out not just me but also everyone else who might be interested in this deck as well. But to each their own. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video today and of course if you guys like the setup, if you don't, please let me know. That being said, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time.